Welcome to the Clipple Lab here at Vanderbilt University. We're going to show you how we can use a protein from spinach and a variety of electro materials to create low-cost plant-based solar cells. We want to use plants because they are low-cost, widely available, and have evolved to efficiently capture sunlight. To make a plant-based solar cell, we need to extract a specific protein called Photosystem 1, or PS1 for short. We first blend the spinach, then separate the heavier materials like fibers and plant cells using a centrifuge like this one. After the extraction process is done, PS1 can be stored in a freezer for later use. Next, we need to look at the electro materials that we're going to be using because we need to make sure that we have materials that are compatible energetically with Photosystem 1. And we can do this by using various types of metals or glass coated with a conductive film. Making sure our electro materials are energetically compatible with Photosystem 1 is one of the most important ways that we can have high efficiency devices. Now, the PS1 solution needs to be deposited onto an electrode to allow for efficient energy transfer. The PS1 electrode interface is a large factor in considering the overall efficiency of our device. The deposition can be as simple as letting PS1 solution air dry, or as complex as trapping the protein in a conductive polymer matrix. There are a number of different tests we run on the PS1-based devices. However, the most important one is measuring the electrical current they can produce. By studying PS1 solar cells, we are working toward lowering the total cost of solar energy. We could use any commonly available green plant, and the process is easily scalable. You just need to extract the protein, pair it with electric materials, and then test your device. That's all there is to making a PS1 solar cell, and materials science and engineering makes it possible.